Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. An altercation inside of a vehicle left a man dead with multiple gunshot wounds Sunday night in the South Las Vegas Valley. Police said a man drove into an Emerald Suites complex with a woman in her 20s and a man in his 30s as his passengers. At some point after arriving, an altercation occurred that resulted in a shooting. As officers arrived here along with medical, they did locate a vehicle and the victim, who was a male in his 30s, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Medical initially treated that male until he was transported to the University Medical Center where unfortunately he was pronounced deceased. The man who fired the gun fled the scene and the woman remained and cooperated with police. A five vehicle crash in Spring Valley left one person dead. The chain reaction crash occurred around 7.15 p.m. Sunday near Rainbow Boulevard and Spring Valley Parkway. Two people were taken to the hospital where one died. The other person's condition is serious but not life threatening. A parade of tow trucks and first responders honored two Nevada Highway Patrol troopers who were killed last week. The parade Friday night included vehicles from the Highway Patrol, the Nevada Department of Transportation, and Nevada Capitol Police. Cars, trucks, and motorcycles wound their way from the Dulla Community Center in the East Valley to the Nevada Highway Patrol Southern Command Office on Sunset Road, where a Highway Patrol vehicle sat covered in flowers and a black, white, and blue American flag draped across the hood to pay tribute to Sergeant Michael Abate and Trooper Alberto Felix. The Injured Police Officers Fund will host a candlelight vigil on Wednesday for the two fallen troopers. The vigil will be held from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at Allegiant Stadium, and everyone from the community is invited to attend. President Biden is scheduled to visit Las Vegas on Friday, where he will deliver remarks before heading to Los Angeles for a campaign reception. The president's stop could cause traffic delays as it will coincide with a memorial service for one of the fallen Highway Patrol troopers. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, has cited Cirque du Soleil's flagship show O at the Bellagio for two serious violations. This stems from an accident that happened on June 28th when an artist in the show suffered a fractured neck during a new act. OSHA cited Cirque for failing to provide sufficient audio or visual cues so artists know when it is safe to dive into shallow water. The fines totaled $31,250. A Cirque spokesperson says it will continue its commitment to a healthy and safe work environment. And weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly clear skies and calm winds holding steady from this afternoon are in your forecast for this evening. Lows around 46 degrees. For the rest of the week, we will stay in the upper 60s most of the week with calm winds and sunny skies. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies for your evenings with lows in the mid 40s all week long. Daytime highs will slowly decrease the closer we get to the weekend. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, people are flocking from California to Vegas and they're not just visiting. Las Vegas remains a top destination nationwide for people looking to relocate and Los Angeles is the prime city they are moving from, according to Redfin. The online real estate brokerage found that the Las Vegas Valley ranks second in the nation for people relocating from other states behind Sacramento, California. Redfin says the Valley added around 4,000 residents during the month of October. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Silverton Casino Lodge, this is Lodge Vegas. Las Vegas may be called Disneyland for adults, but there are plenty of spots along the Strip that can attract and entertain everyone, regardless of age. The RJ has compiled a list of family-friendly activities to do with the whole group on the Strip. The list includes an interactive exhibit called the Avenger Station, where guests can wander an 80,000 square foot space filled with authentic props and costumes from the Marvel Avengers movie franchise. This attraction is located inside Treasure Island. For the full list of family-friendly activities, visit lvrj.com forward slash business. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. It is college football bowl season and the Las Vegas Bowl has announced its matchup. The Las Vegas Bowl will see the Utah Utes of the Pac-12 taking on the Northwestern Wildcats of the Big Ten. The game will take place on Saturday, December 23rd at Allegiant Stadium, kicking off at 4.30 p.m. Utah is making their sixth appearance in the Las Vegas Bowl, 
a record-tying number of appearances. For Northwestern, it is the program's first Las Vegas Bowl appearance. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Studies indicate that at least 30% of seniors will experience loneliness around the holidays. And it's not just merely feeling sad. According to a 2023 advisory from the Surgeon General's office, a lack of social connection carries a significant risk in health and longevity. Loneliness and social isolation can increase the risk for premature death as much as smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. For more on how to combat loneliness during the holidays, log on to LVRJ.com forward slash live well. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The 49ers separated themselves from the pack with Sunday's 42-19 route of the Eagles in Philadelphia. San Francisco is the clear plus 225 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the Super Bowl. The Eagles and Chiefs are tied for the 6-1 second choice, followed by the Ravens at 7-1 and the Cowboys and Dolphins at 8-1. Niners quarterback Brock Purdy is the new plus 325 favorite at Caesar Sportsbook to win the NFL MVP award. Dallas quarterback Dak Prescott is plus 350, and Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts is plus 375. And entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Miranda Lambert's last go-round on the strip is next spring. Lambert announced Monday that the closing performances for her Velvet Rodeo production at Planet Hollywood will be March 20th through April 6th. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. Friday at Ticketmaster.com forward slash Miranda Vegas. A Las Vegas strip restaurant is hosting a Frank Sinatra birthday celebration beginning at 6.30 p.m. December 12th. Sinatra Restaurant and Encore is hosting a three-course dinner to celebrate the singer's birthday and the release of Platinum, a 22-song collection marking the 70th anniversary of his signing to Capitol Records. Tickets start at $250. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.